everyone, play some TV here, and today we have a very special episode. We are going to unbox six brand new deluxe vehicles from the Paw Patrol Mighty Movie. Yay! I just watched the Mighty Movie at my local theater, and it was amazing, so I'm so excited to unbox these toys. Let's get right into it, but before we start, there's a special surprise at the end of this video, so stick around to see what happens. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first, we're going to unbox Chase. We have Chase out of his packaging and looking really awesome. You can simply put Chase into his car like this, and when you do, lights and sounds will come on. Let's take a look at all of the voice lines you can do. You can't see it right now, but these lights are actually very bright. Let's take a look with the lights off. Very cool! They did a great job with the lights and sounds. And of course, because this is a car, it can really roll. Let's take a closer look at the vehicle itself. Everything about Chase's new Mighty Movie Cruiser screams extreme speed. The big thruster on the back, the spoilers, the pinstripe, the exposed engine, and the sleek body. Everything about this says, this car is super fast and awesome. Even compared to the old Chase vehicles, this thing really looks like it was meant for a race. Chase's blue Mighty Pup suit is super cool too. His paws and most of his body are made of a clear blue plastic, so they also light up when his vehicle is activated. There is only one point of articulation, which is the head, which can turn a full 360 degrees. He matches super well with his awesome blue car. Now we have Sky. Sky was the main character of the Paw Patrol Mighty movie, and I gotta say, she was totally awesome. Let's unbox her. Sky is out of the package and she looks so awesome. Let's put her into her new Mighty Movie Jet. Even the smallest pup can make the biggest difference. I totally agree with you, Sky. Let's see what other voice lines there are. Now in the dark.
Wow, those pink lights look really great in the dark. Being an air vehicle, Sky's jet does come with landing gear and can roll around on any surface. For some reason, you can fold up the wings. I think this is so that it doesn't take up too much space when it's stored away. I love the little details on Sky's jet. The control surfaces and the turbines, these little details really add to the overall look. My favorite detail is inside the cockpit. You can see little buttons and controls. That is so awesome. And I gotta say, compared to some of the other Sky toys, her new Mighty Jet takes the cake for flashiness. This Sky figure looks really great too. I love the silver accents on her suit. Now let's unbox Rubble. And here we have Rubble's Mighty Movie Bulldozer unboxed and looking amazing. Let's put him in. I wonder what the other voice lines are. Let's see that with the lights off. Of all the vehicles, I think Rubble has the most moving parts. He has this wrecking ball in the back, and you can move it up and down. This thing looks like it could do some serious damage. On the front he has this roller. It actually does roll when you move the bulldozer. Rubble's Mighty Movie Bulldozer looks super strong. These caterpillars are so big, and these decals are really nice. Overall, it's very heavy and solid. Speaking of solid, look at Rubble. He's a real big pup, and his super armor looks like it could really withstand anything. Look at how big he is compared to Chase. And compared to the other Rubble rigs, this thing is pretty big. Now let's unbox Marshall. Now we have Marshall. This fire truck looks so cool. Let's get you in, Marshall. Let's save the people of Adventure City. Now the other voice lines. Now with the lights off. That's so cool. I love the way that his heat cannons light up. This is a huge fire truck with lots of great sculpted details and stickers. The only moving part is this ladder, which can go up and down. 
And of course, because this is a truck, it can really roll. This Marshall figure is extremely cool. Red, black, and silver and orange accents really work well together. This is an awesome super suit and it really does match Marshall's fireball powers. Compared to the other Marshall vehicles, the Mighty Movie Fire Truck is in between the size of Marshall's original fire truck and his movie truck. Go out there and rescue some people in need, Marshall! I'm ready for a red hot rescue! Now let's unbox Zuma. Here's Zuma and his Mighty Movie Hovercraft. Let's put him in and look at the voice lines. My Mighty Wave won't get the same. Surf's up! Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, we'll be there on the double! Paw Patrol! Power Paws! Now in the dark. My mighty wave won't get the same. Surf's up! Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, we'll be there on the double. Paw Patrol! Power Paws! Like the Chase Mighty Cruiser, this hovercraft looks really sleek and fast. On the back, you have the two fans as usual, but also this big jet thruster. Also like Chase's car, the overall body is sloped down and has a nice sleek design. And again, I'm very impressed with the little details all over this hovercraft. Very cool. The mighty hovercraft has four small wheels on the bottom, so it can roll around just fine. Looking at Zuma himself, I love the contrast between the blue and the orange. It's fitting for someone with water powers. Compared to the other Zuma vehicles, the new Mighty Movie Cruiser definitely looks the most high-tech. And now let's unbox Rocky. And last but not least, we have Rocky and his mighty recycle truck. Let's get you in, Rocky. Let's see the other voice lines. Now in the dark. Like the rest of the vehicles, Rocky has seven voice lines in total. I think of all the vehicles, this is definitely the heaviest feeling, and I think it's tied with Marshall's for being the largest. There is one moving part, which are these orange magnet arms. They tie into Rocky's magnetism power. They come out pretty easily, and these dishes at the end can spin. I think that's pretty cool. I like rolling the truck around with the arms out.
I gotta say, green is a great color on you, Rocky. This super suit is awesome. Compared to the other Rocky vehicles, the thing that stands out is the magnet arms and the caterpillars. Overall, I really like the quality and play features of the Mighty Movie vehicles. They look super cool and the lights and sounds are really great. Let's see if we can light them up all at the same time. <laughs> that was awesome! Each of the Mighty Movie vehicles retail for about 18 US dollars, and I got them all at a local Walmart. However, there are some Paw Patrol toys which can only be found at certain stores, such as... Liberty and the Junior Patrollers! As you can see, they only come from Target. Let's take them out. These plushies are so cute. Let's take a closer look. So, first we have Minnie. Wow, this is really fuzzy and soft. And then we have Nano. That's a cool hat. And we have Tot. Wow, the Junior Patrollers are so cute. And last but not least, we have Liberty. The fabric on these plushies is so soft. I mean, just look at her ears. Her face is so fuzzy too. The whole thing is really soft. It's perfect for young kids. And of course, this plushie can stretch out, just like Liberty's power in the movie. It's kind of funny, isn't it? That's pretty awesome. I would highly recommend purchasing this set if you like Liberty and the Junior Patrollers. It really is high quality. Anyways, thanks for watching the whole video, and if you- Wait, what about the surprise? Oh yes, I forgot Chase. Go ahead. I want to show off my super speed. No! You messed up my rig! Sorry. I'll get you back. Ah! Guys, stop fighting! I still have to finish the- oh! Hey guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. That really helps the channel out. Yeah, you won't regret it. We're gonna have some awesome adventures with our powers. Bye bye